Welcome. I'm Tim Pepper. I'm the senior staff engineer and head of VMware's Open Source Technology Center. I've been a contributor to the Kubernetes project for many years. I've served as a SIG and working group co-chair, and I'm currently serving on the Code of Conduct Committee. But today I'm here to talk about something a little unusual. So there was a bunch of stats given earlier talking about how broad our community is, and this cloud native ecosystem, it's a great place. It's a great corner of tech. I'm, I'm really fortunate to work here in Kubernetes in particular at VMware, and I have a team where people clearly value inclusion. At the same time, maybe you've heard surveys that ask about diversity, equity, inclusion, and they say, are you comfortable bringing your full self to a particular place that's trying to be more inclusive? And you might be surprised to hear that I typically answer no. So as you look at me, you probably think, and I understand there's stereotypes, and no offense in this, but how can this pale-skinned, long-haired dude not feel anywhere at home in tech, right? But the answer for me, and for many others, is that we're not always fully seen. You see, I'm a native Californian. I descend from the Norel Mukban of Windu tribes of Northern California. And because of that context, when I saw that this year's conference was gonna fall in the week of Indigenous Peoples Day, I saw an opportunity for myself to be more fully seen, for my indigenous brothers and sisters to be more fully seen, to say that we are here. Because it's, it's been easy to not see us. In 1492, there were as many as 60 million people already here. Today, that number is more like 7 million. We're 2% of the population. In the tech workforce, though, we're only 1% of the workforce. So Indigenous Peoples Day gives an opportunity to be here, to celebrate, to be celebrated. Because it's, again, easy to miss. Even though there's been hundreds of years of pressure, though, wars, massacres, hundreds of members of my own tribe murdered, California has the highest indigenous population of all US states. There's over 100 federally recognized tribes, there's almost 100 languages. So for the, the computer language nerds, maybe you'd value that. This region has one of the highest linguistic diversities and heritage of the entire planet. And here specifically in Los Angeles, you have the highest indigenous population of all US counties. Still, it can be easy to miss us. We're a small population. We even verge on being statistically insignificant. In these diversity, equity, inclusion surveys where they ask for self-identifying demographics, Sometimes we're the final box, the checkbox that's labeled other. Now, obviously, it doesn't feel particularly inclusive to be explicitly othered, but what is inclusivity? So I'm guessing a lot of you have heard the saying that inclusion is not just inviting somebody to dance. I'm sorry, inviting somebody to the dance, but inclusion is inviting somebody to dance, the difference between being invited to a dance and dancing. So as I contemplate kind of the, the diversity of culture, tribe, language, song, and dance across the continent, I thought, well, could we invite some local natives here to share in the culture of this place? And this place, Tovangar, this is the Los Angeles basin, the Channel Islands. The Tongva peoples have been caretakers of this place for millennia. So there's the Gabrielino tribe, the Chumash to the north, and the Fernandejo tribe, so today we have some members from the Fernandeño Tatavium Band of Mission Indians, Rudy Ortega and Mark Villasenor. And I'd like to pay my respect to the Tongva ancestors, elders, relatives, and relations. In my Wintu language, I say, Ayanisa. This is thank you. And I'm wondering if you would join me in saying, Hutokre. This is Tongva for I see you. What do you say? Hutokre. And with that, I hand the stage to you. Occupy. Aminatam Natawan Rudy Ortega Jr. Mark B. Senor Atawan Ateitam Tamitam. Hello, everyone. My name is Rudy Ortega Jr. This is my cousin, Mark B. Senor. We're happy to be here and join you. I'm the tribal president of the Fernandinho Tataviam Band of Mission Indians. And Mark B. Senor is the vice president of our tribe. And we want to sing two songs for you. The first song is a welcome song. The words are quite simple. The word Bako means enter in our language. Kimma means come. And essentially, when we traditionally go travel from village to village, we will welcome the villagers traveling to our village with that song. We welcome into this area. So we would like to begin with that song to welcome you into the conference. Bako kimma a, bako kimma a, bako kimma a, 
Thank you in our language. Occupy. Thank you. 